Hi guys, what's going on? This is Chris with IPGRentals.com and today I'm going to take you through an in-depth look at the Comtech M216 audio monitoring device. Let's take a look. So what I have in front of me right now is the Comtech M216 audio monitoring system and they're absolutely fantastic. We use them all the time here uh, at IPG uh, for various productions, uh, you know, mid-size shoots to big time shoots and they are fantastic so um, what you're going to get when you rent this is the uh, you'll get the ta3 cable to eighth inch jack and that will actually come from your mixer uh, into your transmitter you'll get the small tweaker here for changing the frequencies on the back and also adjusting volume and gain you'll get four antennas and then you will get the four uh, transmitter receivers uh, and one of these actually will be the transmitter and there will be three uh, receivers for listening, for client listening. So the first thing you kind of want to look at here uh, is going to be the transmitter. Uh, and you can tell that way by looking at the top of it. And you'll see that there's uh, the power. And you'll see also that there's gain in volume. Uh, and you'll see actually on the rest of these that you will not have such uh, a gain or volume switch. It'll just be on off and it will also be just the headphone jack. So you'll know just by looking at that, that this one is your transmitter and the one that's going to be the master uh, that's going to sit on the mixer or it's going to sit on whatever uh, audio device that you have. So this is a very simple, uh, simple device and a simple setup. So you'll just put on the antenna on the very top by rotating it on. Uh, and there it is right there. Uh, you can see, actually, if I rotate this, I'm going to take the clip off the back just so you guys can get a look at uh, what you have. So on the back here, you're going to see uh, two things. You're gonna see the rotary dials for the frequency, just in case you get into an area where uh, you have a problematic frequency range, uh, you can actually go and start tweaking it out um, using kind of a two-part system uh, that you have to do the exact same thing on the back of your other context, so it's not just a you know one frequency fits all kind of thing. So when you get into a bad spot, you can change frequencies based on your needs. Uh, and then the battery hatch opens on the bottom, which reveals your one uh, nine volt battery. And there are nine volt batteries for each uh, and every individual receiver slash transmitter. So we have the sound device 664. Uh, and what I'm gonna plug into obviously is the corresponding port for that mixer. So whatever mixer you might be using, it might be in a different spot, but the X1 and X2 port on our mixer here are the ones that you plug into. So. You have this TA3 connection right here, and I'm just gonna pick this up so I can see it. And you can see there's an X1 and X2 right here, and you get to plug this puppy in right here. And that will ride on the bag. And you'll go inside and you'll activate the X1 and X2 based on your channels. And to see that, we actually have a very in-depth tutorial uh, on the Sound Device 664, um, which you can actually click on the link below to check out uh, where we go through the entire thing. Uh, and you can, you can uh, mute channels or send specific channels uh, through the, uh, the X1 and the X2 port for your receivers to listen to. So that is how you do the transmitter. The receiver, quite simple. Same thing, you take the antenna, you put it right inside, and then you turn her on just like that. You see the red light's on, and the red light will blink when your battery is low. Uh, and the same thing on the back, I will take this off so you can see. You'll see that there is the rotary dials to match up the exact same frequency that you put on the transmitter for the receiver, and same exact thing again, you have your batteries, nine volt batteries on the back. And so the last thing we wanna look at here, uh, and this actually took us a, a second or two to find out where this was because the, the volume was kind of um, at around 50% and we were like, oh, how do, you, how do you raise that volume up? And so we were kind of searching around the thing for, it's actually a tiny little hole in the very front of this, which you actually use your tweaker to go ahead and go through and you'll actually turn it. So for more volume, you'll turn it to the right and for uh, less volume, you turn it to the left. So at IPGRentals.com, we wanted to feel very confident with the gear that we rent to you. So every Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern time, we drop a new video with tips and tricks on the gear that we rent out. 
Uh, so check those out. They are absolutely fantastic and we love doing them for you. So like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, it's our gear, it's your vision, ipgrentals.com.